Will you show us the light? Anything over there? No, I'm asking for the spirits to show us the light, and they did. It just turned on. Thirty minutes from Seattle is the town of Maltby, Washington, in the home of Paradise Lake Road. One of the most well-known legends surrounding this road is the story of Maltby Mary. According to the legend, Mary was a young woman who tragically lost her life in a car accident along the road one night. It's said that her ghost still roams the area, appearing to drivers and passers-by. Some variations on the story describe her as a helpful spirit who guides lost travelers while others depict her as a ghostly figure who appears suddenly and then disappears. Well, we're on our way to Paradise Lake Road, about 30 minutes from Seattle. We've heard so many creepy things about this road, we had to go see it for ourselves. Everything from white mist that floats across the road, to strange orbs in the sky, to eerie voices and sounds coming from the surrounding forests. Everything from electronical problems to other crazy things. We're gonna go get our bearings, check out the road during the day and do our initial investigation. And then when night falls, we'll be back on the road to check it out and see if the legend is true. Oh, and here we are. In one mile, arrive at Paradise Lake Road. Just what we're dealing with tonight. Look at this weird place. Could this be the Moltby Cemetery? No, no it's Nardo Land. Now that is creepy. What in the fuck is Nardo Land? That is a place where people go in and don't come out. Paradise Lake Road. Home of Maltby Mary. This is not her. And we saw something over in these woods right here. There's definitely... There's definitely something back here. When the night comes, we will be back to see if there is any activity along this road, as we have heard. We don't give up here at Haunted Roads. We may not find answers, but we do not give up. Should we get some snacks? Yeah, uh, we catch our bearings. Yeah, catch see our bearings. See if we can figure out where this cemetery is. We could ask that guy. Yeah, let's see where this. Let's see if anyone knows where this cemetery is. We saw a delivery driver. We could ask him if they ever make deliveries to the cemetery. <laughs> well, we asked this guy in here. I don't know if you could see him, but if he knew of a cemetery around here, and of course he didn't. These guys really go the extra mile around here. They really go the extra mile. Do you know what I'm talking about? This is the deep part of Paradise Lake Road. It's very creepy as night settles on the road. We are going to get some food and then it's time for the drive. I just was taking photos of these tater tots, and when I looked at them, they were turned like the other way around, upside down. Do you think that could be Mary? Does she know we're coming to the road? We 
are taking the night drive down the road. It's pretty creepy. Hey guys, we are here at Paradise Lake Road. We just arrived at the location after doing our initial investigation today during the light. It is pretty creepy out here, as you can see. But uh, street the street lights are going off. We've heard of a lot of uh, things that happen on this road uh, that we've talked about. We saw something very strange, a very, uh, like a shooting star green orb thing that neither one of us can even explain what we saw. Yeah, we don't even know what it was. Uh, we were just getting our stuff ready we looked up in the sky, and there was a green thing that just shot through the sky. But anyway, yeah, we're going to start our investigation now and see what we can uncover. So let's do it. Two Hundredth Avenue Northeast. This is a famous intersection where a lot of people have seen Mary. It's very dark out here. hearing like either a little laugh or like a some kind of something coming from inside this forest area. It's really fucking creepy. Shit! Holy shit. I just saw like a mist move right across the road. Spirits, alert us to your presence. Will you show us the light? Oh my god! Oh my god. We just asked it if someone was here and it turned on. Holy shit! It totally is. There's something going on here. This light keeps coming on and off. It is the creepiest thing. We asked it if there was anyone here. It went on. Oh, there it goes off again! Oh my god, what in the hell? Mary, are you here? We should get the fuck out of here. This place is creeping me out. We got like a, someone laughing from behind these, these bushes or some kind of noises across the street and this light coming on. We, I just saw mist. Let's get the fuck out of here. God, that's creepy. Should I keep this off for the time being? Sure. Okay. So what are your initial reactions from this road now that we've, uh, we've, we've checked it out? Well, first of all, I can see how someone could have been killed on an accident this road, for sure. For sure. In a wet, wet climate like Washington State, a dark road with no street lights and sharp turns, absolutely could have been accidents on this road. For sure. And so, of course, all the woods and the darkness, of course, adds to the creepy factor. There's no lights on the road either. Right, there's no lights. Except for that one that comes yeah, on and yes, off. That's right, right. Well, all right, you guys, we are leaving Paradise Lake Road, and uh, that was uh, pretty creepy. To recap, uh, we went there during the day, we investigated the road, as you saw. Uh, we couldn't find the cemetery, sadly, because it's on private property now. We didn't see any ghosts of Mary or any kind of paranormal activity in terms of a woman walking. No obvious figures. Yeah. I heard uh, what I think was someone laughing and footsteps in the bushes. I did see some kind of white mist move across the road. Uh, which, that was pretty freaky as well. Weirdest thing of all was the green orb thing that we saw fly through the sky. We wish we would have got it on tape. We're uh, headed back to Seattle, but I think we're gonna say, uh, we're gonna give this a, what, a, a three on our haunt scale? Something like that. That's a wrap. Yep, that's a wrap. We're gonna head back to Seattle. Thanks for uh, taking this journey with us. And don't forget to drive safe. Yep, always drive safe.